Hello everybody, this is Darth Boy here, and I'm recording this a third time. Um, well, I have some annoying news to share about my movie collection. In the state of quarantine, there is no better time as any to complain about the stupid and, and the superfluous, just so happens to be, Blu-ray heat warping issues that aren't really issues, but mildly annoy me anyway. So, this happened on E.T. and Titanic. Um, I fast-forwarded through both of the movies. They seem to be okay. So, what am I complaining about? I don't know. Blu-ray technology, DVD technology, you know what I mean? It freaked me out because I'm like, oh, great, I'm going to have to rebuy these. And I don't know how rare they are, but E.T. is a fairly common movie, and they just re-released it um, brand new for, like, um, for the 35th anniversary. Because the 35th was back in 2017. I bought the 2012 edition on eBay. That should be coming soon. And I rebought Titanic because Titanic is also having the same problem. I don't know why it is, but it is. And it's irritating me immensely, but I guess I just have to accept the fact that some movies might deteriorate. And some movies will just be weird. Or they'll be like, ooh, weird deterioration that might indicate it may not work. Play it back, it's working fine. Even though it shouldn't. And then you play a movie that should be working fine, and then it doesn't play at all. And you can't really tell what's wrong, even though it should play fine. Had that happen with Species, had that happen with, uh, what the fuck was that other movie? I think I had that with Man with a Golden Gun, but I rebought that. It's really weird, because back in the day, when I, I guess because it's Blu-ray and not DVD, but, you know, back in uh, 2012, I remember Goldfinger not working well. So, I rebought it. And, uh, wait, no, not, not Goldfinger, Man with the Golden Gun. Man with the Golden Gun wasn't working, so I bought a new copy, and then it was just, okay, it is what it is. Uh, but, I guess my thought process is I don't do anything bad with my movies. I just keep them in the damn case, and they should be okay. And most of the time, uh, that's how it is. They're fine. They play back fine. No issue. But then it was like Blade Runner was like that. And Blade Runner was fucking out of print for years, and they didn't do a 35th anniversary like E.T. did. So, I had to track down a fucking, well, you know, there's a video on my channel. So, if you want to check that out, you can check it out. All I know is it was very annoying. Um, here's what the movies look like. So, I just realized I was kind of talking. I'm really trying to find the spot on the desk of where this is. That's right. right there. So it's starting on Titanic and it's on E.T. kind of obviously but you can't really see it maybe if I turn the light off. I watched E.T. and it worked. Right here, yeah. See that? It's, uh, that's only where you can see it. If I shine it to the light, you might be able to see it a little easier. Uh, little cameras kind of suck ass. Um, it's not as bad as Blade Runner, but if you look real closely, you can kind of see where it's starting. Um, now these are both, fuck, they were on top of each other. 
Now, these are both 2012 releases of films. So, I rebought the movies. They should be coming soon, um, but they work fine. So, I just wanted to give that report. If it's in the early stages of disc rot, your movie might still work. If it's at the point of where the Blade Runner set was, your disc is probably fucked. Beyond all reason. So, this has only happened with four discs. It's happened with three different sets of films. Um, so, yeah. Uh, be on the lookout for that. You just gotta look for little things on the Blu-ray itself. Test it to make sure it works. And if it works, don't worry about it. Hopefully it's on a very common release that's still circulating, like E.T. or Titanic. The specific version of E.T. I have isn't really in circulation, but it's still pretty cheap to get a hold of on Amazon. Can't really get it on other sites, but not really that big a deal to me. I haven't really looked at any other movies. For some reason, it just seems to be movies that came out in 2012. Yeah, that all makes sense. I think I got E.T. in 2012. No. Yeah, I got E.T. in 2012. The Blade Runner set I got came out in 2013, but was released in 2012. And then the, um... Then Titanic was also released in 2012, because that was when, um, the anniversary of the Titanic sinking happened. That was the 100th anniversary, so they re-released the movie on in theaters for 3D, and they did a Blu-ray run. So, for some reason, 2012 movies just seem to have problems. That's my conclusion, because I have not run into that on any other thing except movie that came out in 2012. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't really care. I just know it irritates me, and that's why I have a YouTube channel. To vent, and to talk, and to do stuff like that. So, live long and prosper and have a nice day.